And have you used your bestseller status in your marketing and on your website and all that stuff? Have you have you rocked it? Have you flexed? I am I am ashamed to say that I haven't rocked it, but I have a reason. <laughs> I have a reason because uh -huh. I am just I'm putting the final touches on the book itself, and I want mm -hmm. the book itself to be because this was a launch, and um, the actual book is going to be out in the um, in the store shortly. Mm -hmm. So I want the actual book to be out in the store, and then I'll do a second soft launch, and then you start using that as my marketing. That's mm -hmm. the plan. Something that. Uh about the best best selling process um, is what we say is um, the bigger the plane, the longer the runway. So do you know what that means when it's applied to the best selling journey? I'm afraid not, no. Okay, so it's a, another one that we say is it's about the, it's more about the sizzle than it is the steak. Steak, yeah. So it's, just the whole so it's less about the actual book and it's it's more about the journey the process what you learn and what you do with it right right and then when i say it's a the the bigger the plane the longer the runway so from the moment that you have pressed that pre-order button and you have the launch, everything that you're doing is building your business, mm. right? So if you uh, wait a year, because KDP gives you one year to release the manuscript, the longer the runway, the bigger the plane, right? So we're talking about your coaching business. True, true. So the book doesn't need to be out basically. Right, that's the point. That's the point. It's all about this, the bestseller status, like the actual status and the, the sizzle around the experience and what you do with it um, when it comes to your coaching programs and what you offer and how you're putting yourself out there and using the momentum that you have created and the interest. I see what you mean. 